Hatfield here, bringing you yet another tutorial. On today's video, I'm going to show you how to tease a wig in depth. Now stay tuned while I show you how to wrap down a wig like a pro. You're going to need four things for this. You're going to need a teasing brush, like I showed you before in my other videos. Click the link down below if you want to see me tease a whole wig. You're going to need a wet hairspray. I'm using Garnier Fruitiques. Any wet spray will do. And you're going to need a glue spray. I'm using Got To Be Glue. This is what's going to hold the hair in place and keep it from moving. And of course, you're going to need a wig. I'm using a lace front wig. This is a soft lace. If you're going to do this, I recommend not pre-cutting the lace before, but I've done this a million times, so I know what I'm doing. On these, you generally want to block the lace out. You take like some bias tape and just line it up with the lace. That way it doesn't tear on the lace, but I've done this a million times. I know what I'm doing. Now, I'm going to start teasing this bad boy. I'm using my purple teasing comb. I got it from Sally's for like four bucks. And I showed you this before in the video, but I'll show you again. Just take a little section. I usually start from the ear tabs. Think, you know, divide it with your fingers. That's a good amount. It's not be too generous. Take your comb and you're going to gently push that hair down. Okay. Take a little hairspray too while we're at it. That'll help it glide down more. Just pack that hair in like that. All right, using my fingers. And I'm going to pull more hair and just divide it with my fingers. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to wrap it all together anyway. Yeah, divide that with my fingers. Stay still. Lie down. All right, you see, I'm not taking too much hair out. See, this is all just the front portion of the wig. All right. Take some of that hairspray. That should be good. And just tease that bad boy down. And I'm doing it from the bottom and working my way slowly up. Just gradually packing it in. Flipping, you know, from side to side. Yeah. And keeping this long tail going, that's gonna make the hair, you know, fold back more. If you keep writing it down to nothing, you know, I have nothing to come back from. You wanna make sure you have hair to smooth out. That's how it looks in the front, read it out. It kind of looks like magenta from Rocky Horror Picture Show, but that's okay. Now we're gonna go through and French lace it. We're just gonna take a couple sections and join them together. Spray it again. Not too much, I always just do a little bit. Take it. This is what's gonna keep the hair together so you don't get like weird packs of hair just splitting apart. That's because you didn't French lace it. It's, it's really especially important to do it at this portion of the hair because that's where it wants to divide itself the most, especially if there's like a predetermined part in the hair. You can always tease that out. Really just make sure it is tightly held in there so that the hairs just bond together through the teasing. Okay, now let's do the back of the head. Excuse me, Mr. Wig. All right. Gonna take more hair from the crown. And this part, you don't really have to be too precise on. You can kind of just freehand it. When I say you don't have to be too precise, still try to, you know, keep it somewhat in, love, in line with each other, but you don't have to be too concerned with how much hair you're grabbing. Just enough to fill a couple fingers because this is all gonna get covered with the front part anyway. It should look like that. Like a big cloud right here and a nice tail hanging down. And the hairspray is honestly what's going to help it pack down easier. If you try and dry tease it, you're going to go insane and you're going to break such a sweat. Hairspray and teasing, they're friends. They go hand in hand. Make sure those two are always with each other. Whew. Debating whether or not I want to tease the bottom of it because I still want it to be somewhat long. I'll make the decision when I get there. That's one thing you always have to factor in too. If you tease the bottom of it too much, you lose a lot of the length from the hair. And if you like longer hairs, or longer styles, I should say, then that's something you really have to consider. Because otherwise, it's gonna reduce it by about maybe three inches. Sometimes the wig, that can make all the difference. I mean, you can always take packs of hair and sew them into the wig to make it longer again, but it was time for that. This is gonna get stuffed in the bottom of a suitcase anyway, so. It's best just to be prepared for the worst, I always say. Let's 
Another trick, if you find your arm getting tired and you want the hair to go pack down faster, is to rotate the hairsprays. So, especially I'm guilty of doing this a lot when I reach the back of the hair. Just take the wig, take the wet spray, spray it, get it nice and little moist. Take the glue spray, spray it a couple times. Take your comb and just tease it through like that. And you'll find it just goes down real smoothly. I don't recommend doing that for the entire wig because then you're going to have lots of glue spray around. It's going to be a bitch to tease out. But since this is the back, it's all going to get smoothed out one direction. You don't have to worry about styling it any other way. Like I said, my arm's getting tired, so I'm going to start cheating now. Spray it. Once or twice with the glue spray. Pack it in. You're getting to lose sight of where I am. Okay, there we are. <gasps> We're almost done. Final stretch. Pray for me. All right. Keep this like that. And let's start teasing this bad boy. Let's spray the back of it. Like I said, you want to be very cautious of what you're doing here in the back because if you tease it up too much, like I said, the length of the hair starts to reduce. And personally, I like longer styles on me, so. I don't want something to my shoulders. Okay, teasing that up. Pull out some of the curls that got mixed up. Pull it a little tighter, pack it in more. And this back part on the nape of your head, it's gonna get super nappy throughout time, so it's best just to tease it now. Because after a period of time, you ain't gonna get that kitchen back the way it was, no matter how much you use a steamer, it's just gonna stay nappy forever. So it's a good thing it's in the back of your head where no one's gonna see it. All right, tease that down. Oh, we're almost done. We are almost done. Search the wig for any spots I might have missed. I think I actually did pretty, oh, no, there's one. Okay. Ha ha, thought you could get away. No, not this time. Okay, spray it. Tease it properly since I've conserved a lot of energy cheating like that. All right, and that's how the hair should look ratted out. It's a little Diana Ross, but we'll fix that. Brush it softly at first, just to get an idea of the direction of the hair and where it wants to go. It's like a flick motion. Flick of the wrist. This is what's gonna pull some of the teasing out because you need to do so in order to get the wig looking right, in order to smooth it out. It's just a part of it. And you may have to go back in and tease some of it. That's going to happen too. And I'm already determining how high the hair is going right now. It's probably going to get at least three and a half inches off the head, which is better than it was before. If you want it to be bigger, you could always Click my video down below and learn how to stack hair. That's always a great way of cheating height out of a wig that doesn't quite have enough hair to achieve it. If you see it knotting up like that, don't worry about it. Just pick it at the knot here, take the wig, take the brush, just flick at it and you'll get the knots out. There you go. Just flick that hair forward. I'm gonna get out of frame for this, I apologize, but I wanna make sure you can see what I'm doing here. Okay. Flick, brush. Use your hands too, it's like a motion. Pull it up, smooth it out. Pull it up, smooth it out. Okay, she's looking cute. Got a little bit of a bunch here, that's okay. Just pull it with the brush, comb it through, smooth it with the hand. We're working together here. All right, push her around. He said, be careful of the stand. I want to tangle up the goddamn wig. It's going to happen all the time. Take your arm. I usually do this. It helps me get a good grip of the wig. Hug the portion you already smoothed out. And this is going to help you get control and make sure you don't pull out any of the teasing or upset the curl, upset the packing that's already happening here. I said, hug it. Put that wig in a headlock. And just brush downward. It's a flicking motion. I'm not going hard, I'm going soft. It's really just a matter of knowing your own strength and just getting a control of that. Because if you do it too hard, 
it's gonna look insane and you're gonna pull out all of your work. You have to keep going back and forth in and out to re-tease it and it's gonna be such a pain in the ass. With teasing, knotting is gonna happen, it's inevitable. You just gotta be patient with it because if you try and just rip it right out, you're gonna rip the hair out of the wig. And synthetic hair is already sensitive enough. So you don't wanna hurt its feelings too much, otherwise you'll be walking around with bald spots and you'll have only yourself to blame. And with this brush out, you're working your way downward with the curls. Like there's already a set wavy pattern in it, so I'm just working the curls down with it. You notice some of the teasing up top has gone away. That's fine. Spray it a little bit. Pull up the hair, push it. I've taken the section from the front and I'm slightly packing it downward. Like I said, I'm doing it at that angle where it's just angled the tiniest bit so that it's on the top of the head, but also just at a slight angle. Because if you do it too far out, the hair is just gonna droop downward. And you'll find when you like whip your hair back and forth, the hair is just gonna like be a huge, like a Venus flytrap just opening up right there. So you wanna make sure it's angled just the littlest bit going back on the head. I'm going with the glue spray now, spraying a little bit, because now I wanna build resistance in the hair. Spraying the front just the tiniest bit, just to get the hair a little dewy. And this part, I smooth the hair slowly. I'm working it with my fingers, using my hand to smooth it as I brush it, and generally stopping the brush when it gets to about here on the wig, like about here. Because there's gonna be like an end tail here and we're gonna go even more delicately with that, just to make sure, you know, we don't upset the teasing and the smoothing out we just did here. All right, we're gonna take our hand and hold it so it's just like a Fran Drescher bump happening here and we're going to smooth the hair downward from what we brushed out. And at this point, the hair is prepped. If you wanted to do a stacking, you have this whole portion right here ready for a wig to go right on top of this and make it even bigger. But since I don't plan on stacking this wig, what I'm going to do is just take the end of my brush, spray it with some glue spray, and just Pull the teasing up from the back so that it all meets up in the center here. So that way you don't have like, a, you know, dinosaur bump going in your hair. What I'm doing is digging the comb in and pulling the teasing upward from this hair portion here on the crown. Pull the hair up forward like that. This is how she looks so far. You may notice the bottom part is still a bit kind of janky. Then we just take the bottom of the hair, kind of put it in a ponytail like that. Take our brush, and sort of like the way, same way we work the hair downward, we're going to make it all go one direction. Just being ever so delicate with it. You can see it's already starting to smooth out to a texture there. All right, that one's done. Work it down, brush it more. Get all around it. Figure out which direction the hair wants to go. Like I said, it's a wavy style, so it's going from dupe, dupe. So this one's curving that way. Lower the hand, brush it more around. Keep a tight grip on this too, because you'll find doing this that the hair will kind of like jerk back and forth and you're getting an uneven wave. There we go, pinch it again nice and tight and just go through and finish it with your fingers as far as what way the direction's going and generally when you're styling the front of the wig you want to put it on top of your head you're gonna get the best styling that way you'll know what looks best on you when it's on your head and you just do it yourself but if you don't feel like you're that advanced yet definitely stick with the canvas head until you're that comfortable alrighty now that's how I tease the wigs darling don't ask me how to do this again stay tuned and I'll show you how the wig looks on well, this is the final result, kittens. What do you think? I think I'm ready to take some pills and pass out on the beach. It's very Valley of the Dolls, very Jacqueline Suzanne. I like to call this like my instant Priscilla. It's very 1960s, a lot of volume, a lot of big hair on the sides and on the top, which is what I love. Anyways, I hope you learned a lot today. I hope I explained that to the best of my ability and made that as precise and to the point as possible. I don't wanna talk about this ever again, so don't ask me. Alrighty. I love you all. Like, comment, subscribe.
Bye. Click here and see me style an even bigger drag queen wig. Or see me do a gem in the holograms inspired look. If you do, I'll donate 50 bucks to your favorite charity. Shh, they don't know I don't have any money.